Today on the channel, Mattel Elite 85, Becky Lynch. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel as we continue our unboxings of WWE Mattel Elite Series 85, and today we're looking at Becky Lynch, one of the most, if not the most, popular female performer of all time, female wrestler of all time. You guys tell me in the comments, I don't know, what do you think? Is she the most popular of all time? Got to be up there. I don't know. For me, it's got to be maybe Trish Stratus, I would have to think. But we'll see what happens. Becky's uh, story, we'll call it a story. Becky's story is probably not done. As we all know, she just recently left, had a child with Seth Rollins, uh, threatening to come back. Nobody really knows when, but I'm sure she'll come back for at least one more run. You'd have to think she will. There's too much money on the table, as one might say. But we'll see what the future holds. But today, I know what the future holds. We're going to unbox her latest Elite figure. I do find this one a little bit strange being in the line. Uh, it just it seems like she's been gone a long time. Has she been gone almost a year at this point, I want to say? Uh, it could be already a year. Uh, I can't even remember. Time, we always talk about it with COVID. Time, I have no track of anymore. Somehow, I lost it. But it's got to be coming up a year or it's past a year at this point. It's probably past a year. I'd have to think. It's past a year. I don't know. Anyways, for one reason or another, she hasn't been around. So personally, I would have rather seen a different figure in this line. Uh, pick another deserving female that hasn't had a figure yet. Uh, go down to NXT. Put a, Give us an Ember Moon. You know, a new Ember Moon figure would have been good in this one. But I think they're saying, hey, we need some more star power, some female star power. Let's throw Becky Lynch in here. It is what it is. I think some people like it. Some people like me would have preferred uh, an Ember Moon figure. Uh, you guys can tell me once again in the comments what you would have preferred. It just seems kind of strange with her being gone so long to be in this line. I don't know. But we're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging first. We're going to talk about it. Then we're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. And we'll see where it goes from there. So there's old Becky Lynch. You got her name down at the bottom by my hand here. Mattel logo. WWE Elite. Certified authentic. No bootleg here. Then you got Becky's uh, little glamour shot there. You got a little true FX. You got Becky in there. Extra set of hands. Title belt. Money in the bank. WWE logo at the top. Elite 85 logo at the top. And as if I mentioned or forgot to mention, I did pick these up at ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Hot off the truck. There's that old glamour shot once again. And then there's Becky walking to the ring with the Elite logo down below her. And let's see what it's got on the old back. So we got the whole Elite 85 crew down on the bottom. Got a little uh, talking points about Becky. We'll read that here shortly. Got her name in the big font up top, Elite, and then WWE 85 uh, logo up there as well. So there it is, the back of Becky Lynch. Let's see what it says about old Rebecca Lynch. From Dublin to Ireland, finish her the disarm her. Height 5 foot 6, 1.68 meters, about 6.8 Meters taller than your average Jawa. Career highlights, Raw, Raw Women's Champion, SmackDown Women's Champion, 2019 Royal Rumble match winner. After defeating Shayna Baszler at WrestleMania 36, the man forfeited her title to the Money in the Bank winner, Asuka. So I guess it was. We're about at a year. It's about right at a year. Gosh, I don't know. It just seems like, it seems like yesterday. It seems like forever ago. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. But yeah, there it is. Uh, looking at this one right off the bat, the head scan looks very familiar. We have seen this head scan before. However, the hair piece looks a little different. That seems kind of strange, but that's the way I'm seeing things right now. Very cool to get the uh, white Money in the Bank briefcase, the female Money in the Bank briefcase. I believe the only time we ever got this one in the past was Fan Central exclusive. That was a, basically a Walmart exclusive uh, for all intents and purposes, and that was with Carmella. So it's cool for those that are missing that or need that. Here it is here. If you got a Carmella loose back in the day and didn't have the briefcase, now's your chance you can buy another one of these. Flip Becky, get that, and your accessories are complete again. Uh, I think that's the only time that's been released. But All right, let's open it up. Let's see what's doing in here. So we got that blue and white background. We're used to that. We like it. We love it. We want more of it. See you later. Get out of here. Becky Lynch in the old plastic prison. There she is. You're going to have to cut her out. They're doing a lot of rubber bands these days with Mattel. Trying to keep up with uh, the Joneses, I guess. 
We've got two extra hands. We got two fist hands. I might have, I might have Becky be just all fisted out. I might display her with just fists ablaze and ready to go, ready to throw down. Pop her out here. See you later. Rubber bands, get out of here. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. I see something new here. I spy with my little eye if I can get this rubber band off. So I wasn't sure who else might have the pinless joints. It looks like... So Becky has pinless arm joints, not leg joints, but arm joints. So that is something new. Have we had pinless joints on a female? I don't believe so. I think this is the first go around. I like it. It really makes these female figures look better because, as we all know, the females have smaller arms and just I, the pins stick out to my eyes better uh, on a female figure. I like this. Pinless joints. There you go. So a lot of range of motion in her hands here. I do hate this diaphragm joint here. Man, we got the loosey-goosey going on. You guys know how much I actually absolutely despise loose figures out of the package. Drives me absolutely nuts. Another little nitpick here, right below her shorts where she meets her thighs, totally different skin colors. I don't know if that'll pick up really well, but that is annoying and you catch that right away when you look at that uh, thigh crease right there. Totally different colors, doesn't even make sense. Oh, she does have double jointed legs as well. Not pinless, but double jointed. It just looks a little bit sloppy. You know, these, I believe these are knee pads and they're painted on and then they go up above right into the legs a little bit. So it just looks a little sloppy on this one. There, there's a really a lot of good with this figure and a lot of bad. And the bad is the paint transitions don't work really well. The thigh to the, the thigh split to her uh, hip, I guess we'll call it. And then around the knees looks a little weird. And then her uh, boots are a little boxy in the front. But the white lining and the piping, the piping on the boots does look very good. So they did get the paint there. There's a little bit of overspray as well on the forearm pads. I don't know what you call them on here. Uh, there's a little bit of overspray that you can see over into the... So the paint apps are a little rough on this one. Uh, and then, of course, the loose diaphragm is unfortunate. But I really like the arms. Uh, this could be the very best female-armed Mattel Elite figure we've gotten so far. The pinless joints really work tremendously on the female figures. So I like that a whole lot. Uh, we've seen this head scan before, like I talked about. I believe it's the same one. Uh, she had that uh, basic maybe a year ago. This was the Chase basic here. I put a little third-party aftermarket shirt on her that I got. Um, but yeah, that's the same face, but different hair. I think this is the first go around on this hair. She's had some close ones. Uh, there's like a little knot, a little raised knot on some of the other ones. So I think this is brand new hair for Becky Lynch. So I like that a lot. Uh, at least they're giving us something different there. Uh, no paint problems on the chest. No paint problems on the back. So pretty solid there. Uh, no feet ankle problems, which you sometimes run into with the female figures. Does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? I'm sure she does, as I talk about it all the time. Uh, spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Ringside collectible stands, the best on the market. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Uh, and the best thing is they work for everything under the sun. I like to use them for my uh, Mattel Masters of the Universe, Masters of WWE Universes especially. They are the best stands for those. They also work for your Marvel Legends and your Star Wars Black Series figures. She does come with the Raw Women's title. Uh, we've seen the Raw Women's title before. There's really nothing new here. But it's always fun to get more titles. You guys know how it goes. We need that. Uh, the Money in the Bank briefcase. I love the white Money in the Bank briefcase the females have. I think it is a very solid. I believe this opens up if I remember right. Yes, it does. Right, like so. It'd be cool if there was some kind of contract or something in there. But hey, make your own. Get your own printer out. Make your own contract. Uh, but there's that. Like I said, Carmella, I believe, was the only one we got this with uh, prior. So uh, if you're missing the accessory for your Carmella, you better buy one of these Becky Lynch's and you can get that and be all locked in. I wonder if these hands fit in here. They do. Well, what do you know? That's something you could put in here. So if you don't want to lose Becky Lynch's hands, you can put them inside the briefcase. So that's kind of a neat feature. Uh, I kind of like that. Like I said, I think I'm going to display this one as... Becky Lynch with two fists. I think she's going to be all two fists of fury on this one. I don't know. Once again, you guys know we're going to rank them all at the end. I don't foresee this one being at the top. I guess stranger things have happened, but I don't see her being at the top of my uh, favorites from Elite 85. I really, really like the new arm system with the pinless joints. 
very solid. I can't wait to see that continue. I think that's a game changer for you female figure collector fans out there that makes the female figures look so much better. Uh, more, more meat to them is how it feels to me. Uh, but my issues uh, remain. There's some paint overspray on this one. Uh, a little loose around the diaphragm. A little looser than I would like. Um, so that's that's a little disappointing. But all in all, not terrible. Not terrible at all. Uh, not the best Becky Lynch figure ever. I still, I really do like that Ultimate Edition. Some people don't like that one. I, I like it. I like the extra heads on it. I think that's a very solid figure. But uh, you guys can tell me in the comments, what is your favorite Becky Lynch Elite? Maybe it'll be this one. This one's not bad. It's got some problems. Uh, I think the next Becky Lynch we get might be the best Becky Lynch ever. So we'll see when that comes out. Uh, if they can get everything approved upon, especially with these new pinless joints. Could be a game changer. So there it is. Elite 85 from Mattel. Becky Lynch. So there you have it on this Elite 85 unboxing and review. You guys tell me your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Twitter at SirPaul64 and on Instagram at the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And remember to save 10% on these at ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code Kyle. So for the whole Elite 85 team, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.